What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am doing my WWE Elimination Chamber 2024 predictions video. Elimination Chamber takes place this Saturday coming out of Perth, Australia. The show will be airing at like 9am UK time, which is amazing for me because it means I don't have to stay up until 1am just for the show to start to then stay up till 5, 6 a.m. to upload videos. I can't wait. It's only a four-match card as of right now. That could change as this video is being recorded after the Go Home Raw, but before the Go Home Smackdown. So if there is any changes, I will add them in the description and the comments down below alongside my prediction. Without further ado, ladies and gents, let's get right into my first prediction of the show. Okay, guys. So as this is only a four-match card, this isn't actually a match, but... It says here that there is going to be a Grayson Waller effect featuring Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. Now, these two are probably going to address what's going on with Roman, what's going on with The Rock, and probably going to beat up Grayson Waller. That's my prediction for this. It's going to end with Cody and Seth both having their arms raised and raising each other's arms and, you know, helping each other out. I don't know. And uh, Grayson Waller is going to be rolling around on the floor after probably taking a Cody Cutter or a Crossroads. The undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships are on the line next as the Judgment Day defend the titles against Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. My God, a year ago, if you told me these two would be tagging, I would have marked out. Anyway, here we are. The Judgment Day, in my opinion, have done nothing with the Tag Team Championship since they've held the titles, as they didn't need the Tag Team titles, in my opinion. The thing is with Judgment Day is they are so central to most of the current storylines anyway, giving them a title is meaningless. There's other stuff going on. So, my prediction for this is actually for Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate to take the Tag Team Championships from the Judgment Day. Probably something due to our truth interference. I don't know. But my prediction is new champions. The Women's World Championship is on the line now as Rhea Ripley defends the championship in her home, home, home country of Australia against the irresistible force, Nia Jax. Nice and easy, this one. Rhea's retaining. Finally, we are moving into our two main event Elimination Chamber matches. First off, the Women's Elimination Chamber, which will secure a number one contendership spot for Rhea Ripley's, or Nia Jax, Rhea Ripley's Women's World Championship at WrestleMania. The participants are as follows. Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, Naomi and Raquel Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe at WrestleMania we are getting Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley for, I think, the first time. Definitely the first time in a big championship matchup and I can't wait to see it. Becky Lynch is winning the Elimination Chamber. And finally, the main event, or I can only assume the main event of the show, the Men's Elimination Chamber match, where the winner becomes the number one contender to Seth freaking Rollins' World Heavyweight Championship and will face him one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. The participants for this chamber match are as follows. Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, L.A. Knight, Kevin Owens and Logan Paul, this one, in my opinion, is quite predictable. Probably more predictable than the women's one. I don't see this going any other direction than a Drew McIntyre victory here in the chamber. Drew has won Elimination Chamber before. He knows what he's doing in there. And I am predicting him to go all the way and pick up the W and then face Seth Rollins and beat him at WrestleMania. Early prediction right there. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A short match card, but hopefully after the Royal Rumble, we've seen that the short match cards can still deliver. And I would rather have quality over quantity any day instead of it being like an AEW pay-per-view with 18 matches on that are all random spot fests that are just carnage. I would much prefer a few shorter matches, uh, sorry, a few longer matches that actually have quality to them. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Elimination Chamber is this Saturday. I will be watching it live and doing my live reactions because it's on in the morning over here in the UK. Let me know your predictions in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.